Proverbs thirteen sixteen, Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his folly. Every man must choose the basis for his thoughts and his choices in life. Fools seem to operate in the make-believe world of their own opinions and speculations, and their folly is visible to everybody. Wise men prudently choose knowledge for all their thinking, speaking, and actions. Solomon said it well some, in another spot, Proverbs fourteen fifteen: The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his goings. There is a difference. The fool believes most anything he hears, while the prudent man is cautious and skeptical about everything. Solomon also wrote in Proverbs 22, 3, A prudent man foreseeth evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Prudent men consider what could happen, and they avoid it. Fools blindly rush on in heady ignorance, and they're punished. Embrace caution for wisdom. Prudent men are wise. They're discreet, circumspect circumspect, and they use sound judgment. They're very careful to only deal with what can be proven as fact. They do not trust everything they hear or read. It must be established with evidence before they will consider it. They do not jump to conclusions, listen to rumors, trust sensationalism, or allow exaggerations. They do not talk about things they know little of, Enter into activities they do not understand, associate with people that they do not know, or accept opinions without all the facts. Proverbs 14.8 says, The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. Fools believe most everything, especially if it confirms their foolish suppositions. They're looking for anything to support their ignorant opinions. They trust it as truth and they repeat it to others. They do not truly want understanding. They only want to reveal and publish what's in their own hearts. Proverbs 18.2 says, A fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. If it sounds plausible, they believe it. If it sounds sensational and likely to cause a stir, they really get excited about it. They answer matters before they even hear them. Feelings for them are as good as facts. One of the great problems among Christians is a repeating of something without first proving it. This happens in our churches with pastors and teachers. It happens in a gigantic manner on social media today. It happens with much of the news media. It happens in our everyday conversations when we're trying to impress others. Oh, how we need to follow the example of the Bereans. In Acts 17, 11, it says this, They were more noble than those in Thessalonica. In it they received the word of, uh, with all readiness of mind and searched the scripture daily whether those things were so. Our problem often is that we're too lazy to search a matter out. And how important it is that we be prudent and that we deal with knowledge, with facts. For otherwise, our folly, our foolishness, it will be known.